Summer of 1967 The village of Naxalbadi, part of the fertile Terai plain on the foot of the Himalayas, is a boiling cauldron of resentment. Nearly a third of the population are sharecroppers and peasants who are fed up of being exploited by Jyotedars. On May 24th, a sharecropper and Santal tribesman named Bigol Kishan enters a patch of land owned by Jyotedars and is thrashed by goons sent by the Jyotedars. The peasants, led by a group of Marxist-Leninist ideologues camping in the village, decide to fight force with force. They begin occupying stretches of farmland. Clashes ensue and Nagin Roy Chaudhary, a Jyotedar, is killed. The police are called in to crush the revolt and evict peasants from the fields. Sonam Wangdi, the inspector in charge, kicks a pregnant woman on the stomach. Following this, Shanti Munda and fellow protesters take on Wangdi. The police unleash a reign of terror in Naxalbari. Eleven people, including eight women and two infants, are shot dead. Villages near Naxalbari are raided and protesters go into hiding. Under Charu Majumdar, Jangal Santal and Kanu Sanyal, the agitation spreads south to Kolkata. Communist leaders in Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, Andhra Pradesh, Orissa, Tamil Nadu and Kerala extend their support. On June 28th, Radio Peking hails the uprising and the world takes note of what is happening in Naxalbadi and beyond. The Naxal fire engulfs Calcutta and transcends state boundaries. Mass protests and guerrilla campaigns begin in central Bihar, Telangana, Orissa and Kerala. As the movement gains countrywide momentum in 1972, the centre and states begin brutal suppression of the revolt. Government operations against Naxals begin to bear fruit. Majumdar is arrested in Calcutta on July 16th. He dies in lockup 12 days later, a fatal blow to the struggle. Ideological fissures appear among the Marxist-Leninists. Their party splits into several smaller parties and then into splinter factions. The Naxal movement is on the wane. Santal becomes an alcoholic. Sanyal, the last of the trio of Naxal co-founders, kills himself in 2010. Today, Maoists in states like Chhattisgarh and Jharkhand continue to fight a losing battle that was begun 50 years ago in Naxalbadi. The liberators, however, have now become oppressors. They lord over villagers and tribals by means of fear and violence.